What's up everyone, welcome back to the show. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at this Henry Cavendish Shave Soap. I have not used this before, it is still in the wrapping. I got it a while back and it's been sitting in my little shave box and I haven't opened it yet. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it today and see how it does. So this soap comes, like I said, in this little box and it's actually got a little plastic wrapping around it. It's uh, Himalaya with shea butter. <laughs> I can't read that without thinking about that cat joke. Uh, I had a guy actually at work pull that one on me the other day. He said he had a Himalayan cat and uh, said he's going to show me a picture of it. And he pulled his phone out and said, here's Himalayan on the table. <laughs> ah, that's a that's a cheesy dad joke. We're going to go ahead and open this up. And uh, right off the bat, it's a bit of a soft soap. It's not a super hard soap. It definitely feels very, uh, it's a little bit tacky to the touch. Let me get my shave bowl real quick. I'm jumping the gun here. I need something to put this in real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, got a shave bowl. It's our little Vanderhagen shave bowl or Vanderhagen. I'll get it right one day. Uh, drop that right down in there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, soak up my face real quick and get everything, get those whiskers nice and softened up. I'll be with you in an instant. Okay, and... We're good to go. Whiskers should be sufficiently soaked now. Um, that little Himalayan joke I just mentioned earlier, that kind of reminds me of uh, reminds me of a joke I heard a while back. It's every time you every time you uh, go to the bathroom, every time you go to the bathroom, you change nationality three times. First you're a Russian, then you're a P, and then you're Finnish. But uh, <laughs> that's cheesy as hell. We got the brush soaked up already. Got a little bit of water on the puck here, and let's see what kind of lather this sucker builds up. Let's load the puck. Where this is a, or load the brush, where this is a new puck, it might take a minute here for it to load up. We'll see here. We'll get it nice and lathered up. Feels like a real slick, ooh. <laughs> That's a, this is a really nice little lather it feels like so far. Oh, it's very slick. Definitely going to need a little bit of water in it there because it's a very dry lather. Okay, let's try this out. Let's see how it does. We'll get the mirror up here. That's a very slick lather. Holy cow. It's going to need a little more on the brush, though. I'm going to need to load the brush a little more. Okay, now let's give it a try here, dip it in some water. Very slick lather. This is actually, this is really nice. Very slick and it just, it feels soft. I don't know how else to describe it. it, just it feels, it feels soft. So, very impressed with it so far. We'll see how the lather holds. Needs a little more water on it. Definitely likes a bit of water. Definitely likes the water. They recommend using warm water. And they say you can apply it to your face actually just with the puck, just rubbing the puck on your face. And then I guess you would just lather it with a brush once you've applied it like that, but... Oh, it builds a really nice lather. Lots of volume to it. Okay, now I'm just having fun, so uh, <laughs> I can stop. I've had lather worked up for a good, good half a minute there. Okay, we'll go ahead and get the razor out. We've got a fresh blade in it. I'm going to be using Dorco ST301s today. Let's just see. Let's start with my standard issue here, and let's see how see how it does. We'll get to see how it holds up by the end of the shave. Now this is about a week's worth of hair growth, so I might not get it all in the first pass. There we go. There's pass one done. And you know, I didn't have to wash. I didn't have to rinse my brush out once. You know, a lot of people they say the DE 89s are very mild, but you know, I've, my experience has been that. They're not, it's not an aggressive razor, but you can get usually a full pass out of the thing, uh, especially if you've got an area that you're not shaving, like where I've got this goatee. It's very easy to get a full pass out of it without, uh, without rinsing it out, even with several days of growth. Now, one thing I am seeing, and some soaps will do this, I'm seeing a lot of residue left over on the, uh, ooh, uh, on the, uh, on the razor, and that is uh, sort of a thick, sort of a, almost like a, when I rub it, it sort of almost balls up. So uh, that's not super great, but we'll go ahead and we'll see how it does. We'll do a second pass and we'll see how easy that stuff comes off. Get some fresh water on that. We'll do our second pass. A 
Okay, and this one's a little bit thinner lather on it. Not for any particular reason. And this lather has, it has excellent slickness. It's very slick. People talk about cushion and slickness, and truth be told, there's only one thing that matters, and that's going to be your slickness. The cushion really isn't, it's not really that important. I think of the lather as being more of it just creates little pockets of air to keep it from drying out. And it definitely, it doesn't dry out. It definitely has some staying power there. Good smooth shave. That was a real good shave. Yeah, I'm not seeing, not feeling anything left over there. So we'll go ahead, rinse off real quick, and sort of follow up with you guys. I'm going to finish it off with a little bit of Stetson aftershave. Really like this stuff. It's got the castor oil in it. Doesn't dry your face out real bad. It leaves a little bit of an oil coating on your face. Mentholated, nice and cool. Doesn't really burn at all. I'm not getting any burn at all from this, even though it's a alcohol-based aftershave. No burn at all. So that was a really good shave. That was a really good shave. Um, only thing I can see uh, that I really don't like about it is it, it leaves it leaves this residue on the razor. It's a white film that is sort of thick and grimy. But besides that, if you don't mind cleaning your razor off when you're done, just sort of wiping it off with a towel, yeah, it comes right off. Uh, if you don't mind doing that and cleaning your razor regularly, it's it's actually it's a really nice soap. They say it's scented. I don't really smell anything with it. Um, it's got a scent, but it's very faint. I can, I can barely I can barely smell it. But uh, you know, for some of you guys out there with sensitive skin, that's probably a good thing. A lot of scented products cause skin irritation for people with sensitive skin, but that was a really darn good shave. Good, uh, it sticks around, it stuck around well, it stayed slick, didn't dry out, um, lathered up really nice, takes a lot of water. Uh, you know, usually a good soap, the sign of a good soap is it takes a pretty good bit of water to get a good lather working up on it, and that does it. It's that water that, water that keeps your whisker soft. Um, Really good. I was very, very impressed with it. Actually, <laughs> did a lot better than uh, than I was ex than I was expecting. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you'd leave the video a like down below. You know, I bring these videos to you guys because I really enjoy wet shaving. And if you want to see more videos like this and support the cause, you can subscribe, leave it a like, leave me a comment down below if you want to see more videos like this from me. And if if you have any suggestions for reviews or anything like that, and I'll see you in the next one later.